All right, guys. It is Friday, and as you can see, you're down here at the shop, and holy, freaking! I had to get my tanks filled up this morning. Gonna get them ready for the trailer. We're gonna pull the uh, sons of bitches off here, the rims, because those guys are they're scary. I'll put them that way. Um, so yeah, so my dad went to go pick up the truck this morning from down the street there. We parked my truck way down there, pretty much just because we don't have on-street parking on winter time and obviously we can't put the truck in the yard so we had a bunch of rain the past couple of days and uh, he uh, brings it around and I, don't know, I, I went to go get something out of the back of the seat and uh, my mirror the cap for my mirror fell off you know I don't know what I do with my mirrors but oh yeah they're back there but there's a little cap I took it off just that way when I went through the car wash it wouldn't uh, you know snap off and then I'd have you have to go buy a brand new one. So I stuck it back in the back of the seat and uh, I look at the back, look at it, I go look at it, I'm like, what the hell? The whole thing was filled with water. I'm like, how the fuck did water get in there? And I'm looking around, looking around, and sure enough, I found a leak. The back of my truck window was leaking all along, and my whole bench seat that's in the back was soaked. The friggin' leather that you know, it's a cloth bench seat, so the cloth is on top, and then there's leather in between there. That was all soaked, and holy, so I had to um, do a little bit of a fix to it. I went down to AutoZone there, and I got some uh, window weld shit, and, uh, you know, I pooped a little bit around, and it seemed to work pretty good. So we'll see how well that works out in a day or two, but right now my hands are, well, we're just covered in window weld. I wasn't smart enough to come in here and get the gloves. I... When I was all done, I walked in and went, Oh, that's right, I have gloves for that. Oops. Yeah, you ever have one of those days? That's my day. But anyway, so I went down, got the acetylene filled up. Um, as you can see, the Sabre Cat, that's sitting outside here. I need a little bit of space this morning. Bada bang. Need a little space, I had to do some oddball shit in here this morning. Uh, I'm actually getting ready to pull in a gearbox. It's a... Aaron's, I think it's sitting right here. Yeah, you guys can see it sitting right there, and that's gonna get pulled in next. Just so I can pull the gearbox out of it, uh, a bunch of other stuff and junk like that. And then, uh, yeah, but surprisingly, they uh, opened up the trails. That was really surprising. I didn't think they were gonna open the trails up before we would go snowmobiling, and sure enough, they opened them up. Um, so I don't know, maybe we'll try and shoot down there maybe next week or something. So that's pretty cool. We got to get the the trailer take it apart first to try and figure out whether or not we need to uh, do the brakes on it, um, do the bearings on it. Obviously, we got to get the rims off those friggin' lugs because they're crusty as like friggin' I don't even know crusty, crusty as chips I guess. I don't know. They're pretty uh, well on there. I'll show you all. Right here, I've been soaking. I've been soaking them for the past couple of days now, but they are pretty damn crispy you know and then we're trying to figure out on how we're gonna get the hub off the unit here and oh I crawled underneath here I'm not gonna crawl back under again I can kind of show you guys but if you see those uh, bolts right there those guys are just uh, pretty damn crusty you know so I don't know and as you can see we got some redneck electrical tape going on so that's not a good sign, but the rest of the trail looks pretty healthy. All the stuff that's flaking off is just the undercoating. It's not the rest, as you can see right up here. So I'll do that in the summertime. It's too cold though to be dealing with this shit. But hey, it's better than nothing. Whew. You know, it's what happens when you afford, can only afford so much in a trailer, you know, like, I wasn't even planning on buying that trailer, like I, I told you guys before, um, you know, I, if that trailer wasn't on eBay and the price that I got it for, which was 35 something like that, um, I sure as hell wouldn't be using that trailer, I'd still be using my, my clamshell trailer there, with the little dents in it, you know, so, it is what it is. So, yeah, I'm going to pull that bucket in and we'll get right to where I guess. Awesome. I think a little bit of Bondo, a little bit of Dirt Last, that should cover up that pretty good. And 
Uh, maybe a little bit of fiberglass up in here. It should uh, should cover up that hole. And, you know, that one right there. Ooh, yeah. You know, should be a hack and pack special. I'm thinking about maybe send this one to Pister. A little bit of body work. Get her all uh, done up. Maybe a flame job. Yeah, that pisser. I'll help you out a little bit. Knock some of the rust off. You know, should be an easy fix for you. You're used to fixing these Chevys like this, you know. <laughs> yeah, friggin' right. That thing's fucking junk. I can't even get the, uh, this auger right here is frozen up if I put my foot right on there. Let's see. I can show you guys before. Let's have a check if you get a bad, uh, gearbox or if you are going to seize on. If you can, if you, I'll show you guys this before. You put your foot on your gearbox and you want to see if your auger is seizing your shaft, which if it is, then you get some problems. Um, because if you should hit a rock, it'll snap your shaft. But here's a way to test it. Put your foot on one of the, you know, one of the auger rakes and you wiggle. See how that's wiggling? But, come along the other side, you can't do it to this one. That means this one's seized on. My phone's ringing. I gotta get to it. Alright. So, now it's time to pretty much uh, continue what we were just talking about before the phone rang. Well, that was about like an hour and a half ago. Anyway, so uh, yeah, there are ways to get them unseized. Uh, you get three options. Uh, if you get lucky, you can take a hammer or a sledgehammer to it and bang it on the uh, the part that it sticks up, uh, something like this. If you're lucky and it's not thin like this one, you can bang right on that and it might free it up. Uh, second thing they can do is you can heat the shaft, heat it and then bang, 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 heat it, bang, 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 you know that type of deal. Or D, A, B, C, yeah, that's how you say D. Uh, you can either replace it, you can cut the whole unit off and replace it, uh, but that takes a little bit of work. Um, but I am passing on that job, uh, it wasn't worth the aggravation or the money that it's going to get paid to do that. Um, it just wasn't worth it. So I passed on the job, right now sitting back outside, it's just too far gone. It costs way too much to get that son of a bitch out. By the time you're done doing it, you're going to be looking at about 30 bucks in oxyacetylene. You know, so forget it. It's just not worth it. So, yeah, but as you can see, I cleaned the shop up. I'm actually getting ready to go fire up the uh, Sabre Cat, bring it back in. And uh, we're going to call it a day, I guess. Pull the starter off of an engine that I had sitting outside. I thought it might have been good, but it's junk. Won't do, uh, won't do a thing. It's, it spins, you know, it spins freely, but something on the inside, maybe the wires are gone. You know, so it is what it is. But let's fire up the uh, saber cat, huh? Do a little video of that. Okay, it's pretty good. That's all I gotta say. All right, let's fire up. It would help if I had the keys, that's for sure. Oh yeah, we're slick shit. simple enough just like that and check a look at this I got my little uh, unit there coming out the side now that couldn't have been any better huh awesome so anyway I know it wasn't much of a video making day uh, I don't think tomorrow's gonna be much of a video making day either we're supposed to be expecting snow um, son of a fucking bitch this door I tell you what I have Done all I can to hold this door back together, and it is just the shittiest door in the world. I should honestly do a friggin' door review on this thing. 
Like honestly, if you go to home, if you go to Lowe's and you see a door for I don't know, $200, $300, don't get it cuz it's just complete shit. Plain and simple. And I've already I've already I've already had three guys look at this door and say, "Yeah, you installed it, right? It's just cuz of cheap ass shitty design." Anyway, enough ranting there. Uh yeah, so expecting some snow, four to six inches, something like that. Uh, not 100% sure what we're really going to get. No one really knows, so hopefully we cross our fingers, you know, get a little snow. Um, but I don't think I'm going to upload a video tomorrow night. Um, tomorrow night would be Saturday night. So I'll probably maybe throw up a video Sunday. It'll just probably be a little bit of clips and stuff for the weekend. Uh, I know I saw the video clip on my phone there, the house. I keep on forgetting to kind of sort of throw it in, so oop. So, uh, if I have a chance, I'll throw it in, uh, in this video, if I remember, and, uh, you guys can take a look at that house next door that caught on fire. It is the upstairs of the apartment. It's not the downstairs. The downstairs, they've already got the downstairs stripped apart. Um, that reminds me, I gotta go back there sometime next week. I gotta pick up, uh, two tubs. Uh, there's a, there's two cast iron tubs. Uh, those are coming out. And there's a stove in the basement I gotta grab as well. And uh something else I think the guy said. Something else. Maybe another air conditioner. I don't know. There's a shitload of air conditioners in that house. I pulled out seven air conditioners um the first time. And then I pulled out another two more air conditioners just the last time I was there. So that's nine air conditioners. Holy. And there's actually still one more in the attic, but I guess one of the guys wants to keep it. So that's 10 air conditioners in that one little tiny house. I guess the old tenants just kept on leaving and leaving air conditioners. You know? I don't know. But anyway, we'll talk to you guys probably not tomorrow, but most likely Sunday. So, anyway, we'll see you guys later. Talk to you. If you ever wonder what it looks like inside of a burnt home, this is what it looks like. Yeah, I recognize that place.